Okay, so here is the, the still life. And here is kind of where I'm going with it. So I've got my paints. And we start out with a, I started out with this photo for this one. So there's this. And this is what we're trying to get to with our still life at the table. And then after that, I have another one that I started as a Christmas present and still haven't finished it. But here we are, partially, partially done. So that's that. And then I have my setup. You haven't got to be fancy about it. You can get your chair and your flamingo and all of their junk and just bring it right on out into the, uh, the backyard. And here is my oil paint medium. And it's a mix of stand oil, linseed oil. Um, let's see. Linseed oil, turpentine, and Damar resin. And it works really nice, and some people probably disagree with me, but I mean, it works pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my, my black paint, and I'm just going to stick it right there on the board. Hope I remember that it's... Oh, man. What the heck? And I didn't bring anything out here to wipe it on either. Nope. What can you do? I guess I'll wipe it on the, the lid of the tube. Why not? That's what I do. If you weren't here, this is what I would be doing with it. I'd probably wipe it also on this table because, man, I spray painted that and it kind of ruined the black. It's probably going to be regrettable later on because I'm going to want to get more black paint and I'm going to get it all over myself. So what's going to happen is, and I'll take this. Uh-oh. Hold up. Take that. And then I'll leave it open. If I was in the house, I would definitely not leave it open. Um, and then I have a... Oh, there they are, right here. I'm going to take my, my paintbrush and I'm going to take this medium and I'm going to get my paint and I'm going to really just kind of make it watery because I want it to move. I want it to be able to be fluid and move around in that. So I'm going to take this and my paint. Already regretting that. And then I'm going to go back and forth. So here's the flamingo. And here's my board. And I thought about doing it like uh, landscape painting, but I decided that I, I wanted to do more of a portrait because, well, it's the flamingo after all. So with a flamingo, I'm gonna start, what's the dog doing back there? So I'm gonna start it here. I'm gonna look at that shape right here, like as if it was an actual tangible reality. And then I'm gonna look at this shape here and I'm not going to worry about this jar, oops, sorry, this jar over here. I'm going to mostly worry about what the, sh the slope, the roller coaster of his neck is. And then what triangle diamond this is. And the dog, what's the dog doing? Anyhow, uh, and then I'm going to look at this shape here in relationship to the jar. I'm gonna pretend maybe that the this leaf here and all that doesn't exist. So I'm gonna take this part here and I go down here like this and come over here and up and over and up. And I'm gonna pretend that this is one full shape right here. All this stuff in the middle. We're gonna pretend that that it's a solid thing and that's what we're we're trying to paint that inside right here. You can pause to paint it like that. And then I'll come up here and I'll look and I'll, I'll think. And, now, and always, when you're painting round things, you need to be thinking about how round things might look more real if they have a little bit more edge on it. So you want to have this sharp edge right there. So that little triangle inside, do you see that? Like this, right here, like that. And then, um, so I would probably start because I want the flamingo's head to be at a pretty nice place in the in the canvas. So I'll take that and I'll probably put that in first. 
and then I'll worry about other things. So, so now I'm going to keep looking back and forth. You can't see, you can't see, but I'm going to keep looking back and forth, 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 back and, forth and never stop. Keep doing that because once you stop, you're letting the other part of your brain that you shouldn't be letting paint, paint. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to dip my I'm going to get a little more medium in there because this is this kind of gives me a feel for my paint. Like if I can kind of rub it around and kind of get to know it, become friends, we shake hands. It's like, okay, well, I kind of know what you want. It's an energy thing. So I, I, I really just like to get the energy in there. So I'm going to take this. Oh, God, don't fail my audience. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to come up here and there and there. And then I am going to hope a lot because it's not easy. Painting, guys, is absolutely not easy. And look, I keep like I need a I need a, a a thing to hold up my my stand. Okay, so now we're gonna get his his beak in there. He's gonna over here. He's like, oh look at me, I'm looking beautiful. Yeah, you are. All right, so now we go up here. And down like this. You know, I think the uh, I think the uh, whole plague deal is is affecting my my ability to really be free. Free. I don't feel too free right now. I feel I feel stressed and I I feel worried. And my mom's supposed to have a surgery and and the doctor is now calling her and needs to do a video chat on Monday, so she has to wait all the way until next week find out if she gets the habit which you know guys she probably won't and she's already very sad it's kind of super sucks so I'm just gonna try and think about my paint okay so his eye is about right here in the middle here and and don't you worry one one tiny bit about about how weird the shape of the head gets because you can always get your paint afterward and cut in so just be free and don't worry. Don't think about it. Just do it. Just do it. I mean, Bob Ross said it best, right? It's your world. It's your flamingo. My flamingo. It ain't your flamingo. So here's your jar. Keep missing my camera. I need a, I need a stand. Okay, so here's the lid. And I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take this. And you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to, uh, there's, there's some, there's cellophane in the, the jar. So food wrap, what you, you can call it what you want. So the food wrap and there's that. So I'm going to, I'm just going to do like a little, little twizzler, a little twizzle lizard there and, and put that in there. So I remember to put it in later on because sometimes you, you see things and then you don't see them anymore. So here's that. See, that makes me feel good because that's easy. I can do something a little easy now. And and there's my there's my jar. You see? Ain't it beautiful? Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to actually put in the jar behind his neck. And there's this shape right here. See this shape? Uh, my perspective is here. So here's this shape and it's a triangle. So I'm going to take my ellipse, and ellipses are important because I can't see the top of that jar. So if I see the top of that jar in your painting, I'm going to have to slap your paintbrush out of your hand. So here's your, your this is the top, see? That's as much as I can see at the top. Then there's these little rung things, and there's that rung. And the more you talk to yourself while you paint, the better your painting will be because you were kind of, uh, our, our brains are busy bodies and it wants to tell us what to do. Okay, so there's a bunch of rings on there, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw it all in there. See, look, I didn't come over far enough, which kind of sucks, but I haven't painted on video before, so well, what can you do? So here's that, and then he's kind of down here a little more, and I'm just, I'm not gonna worry a lot about any of this stuff, and it's probably not accurate or right, but do we care? Not really. Thanks, kids. The cat agrees. Okay, so here's this. Yeah, I have definitely, oops, sorry, I have definitely done better, but I, I don't care. Okay, so I'm going to get some more medium, and I'm going to, I'm going to make it washy, 
and uh, it's so and, and I kind of can tell how washy it is by how much paint I can see through to the bottom see that That's, I want it like that so now I'm gonna take this in my jar I'm gonna draw it's called drawing through so you're pretending that you can see all the way through the jar through this flamingo's head and I'm going to I'm going to bring it out. So if we can pretend that we're seeing the edge of that jar right here. Well, now we can see it cuz I just did it. But there's this ring. See that ring right there on the jar? So we're going to put those rings on there. Ring ring. Ringity ring ring. And then I'm going to take this down here like so. And it doesn't look like much yet, but you guys are going to love him. Okay, so there's this, and this, and this. 10 minutes in, we've done hardly anything. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so there's a leaf here. I'm gonna do this leaf, and that leaf, and I can make adjustments. I'm so not worried about exactly how things need to look right now. I'm gonna just keep going never know sometimes they look like crap later on and you're like wow and I even put that up on the internet but it's all right I know that there's a flower right here so this flower right here is just gonna be oh look a squirrel dogs love that that's great okay so uh, then here we are with this flower and I'm just gonna put in what the shape would be look at my oranges are gonna barely make it into this painting <laughs> it's really about it's really about this guy all right, so here's the flower, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of this, and here's the orange. Sorry, there's the orange. And uh, let's see, there's another, there's two, but the other orange is over here. It's, it, the other orange is over here. So this is another thing. Don't squish it in, because if you squish it in, I try to get that orange here, and I try to get this orange here, and this bottle there. It's just gonna be messy and uncomfortable, and you're gonna feel confined. Just, if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. That's just how it goes. So, um, so we're gonna do this flower here, and the flower, and this actually comes up further. See, just little adjustments here and there. And what this is doing is mapping in your mind what you're, what you're going to paint. It's not necessarily you've got to have it perfect, but it's mapping. I'm really, I'm, I'm understanding the space right here. I'm looking at this space. And it goes down and up and over and down and up and over. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go up with this jar around, around, and there, and I am going to get this orange in here. How exciting. Okay, so so the so the orange is kind of diagonal, so it's about here. So there's that. Ooh, it's exciting. I need to get an easel so I can I can so you could just watch. But this is kind of nice because then I can show you the spaces that I'm looking at. Okay, so here we are. Um, let's see. I'll take this. That jar looks like it's fallen over. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're going to have to stand it up straight. And now we'll do this and that and this and this and this. And we're just we're just going to we're just going to do that. That's great. And that says jasmine rice. It used to have jasmine rice. We don't have that jasmine anywhere more. But there's a squirrel over there again. So there's that. And then I can kind of see the, the, the leaves behind that jar. See right here, you see the reflection and all the greens and things. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, and there's leaves kind of, kind of here too. So we'll do this. We'll get some leaves going on. I can see the leaf behind inside the jar, but inside the jar. And then I can see this one and it's curling this way. And the inside, so this is the outside green part of the leaf. And this is the in, sorry, this is the inside of the leaf. This is the, the outside. This would be the underside that's folded over. And then there's another leaf here, another leaf here. And see, I'm just getting ideas, just, oops, just ideas of 
what's what. It's so bad. This, this is so bad. Okay, so then I have this here. And there's another leaf maybe here. And there's a leaf coming back in on this side. But see, we don't have to get the whole leaf. We can pretend that it exists in the world right here. And it's just peeking its head right in there. And then we have this there. And we don't even get to have the apocalyptic gear. Isn't that interesting? But that, but that, that right here will influence how you paint your orange here. And maybe in the background of the painting, I will, oops, I will get that color in there somewhere. And look, it, it kind of matches up here with this, that, that color in the world. I think the squirrel doesn't like me out here much. Anyway, so we never did have our meeting, so I've got to go find out if I'm missing it right now. So this is it. And I'm gonna, I don't know how to flip it around while I'm still videoing, so here I am. And I will see you in a little while.